Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today we're here to take a look at the new 12 gigabyte RTX 3080 card that was just released by Nvidia today. And it's been pretty hush hush until now about this card, but we're seeing it pop up on some of the AIB sites like you're seeing right now on EVGA. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me, let's get started. Today, NVIDIA released the new RTX 3080 with 12 gigabytes of memory. So this is a two gigabyte improvement over the previous versions of the RTX 3080, as well as some improvements on the memory bandwidth. Aside from that, this card has gone pretty hush hush. NVIDIA has been pretty quiet until this time. And from what I understand too, some of the people who have even received a pre-release card did not receive it with the accurate or an updated driver. So there's no benchmarks published at this time. For whatever reason, they've been very quiet about that I guess it just seems to be a new card released with a little bit more memory as well as some improvement on the memory bandwidth but I could see it listed on the EVGA site but wow look at this price tag $1,249.99 and that's a really really steep price it's almost in the ballpark of a RTX 3080 Ti if I look at it comparing to some of the previous models of the RTX 3080 these are the 10 gigabyte versions that's listed right now on the EVGA site at $879.99 so typically you'll see them in the $879 even into the $900 range for the RTX 3080 the light hash rate cards from EVGA and EVGA's prices are usually reasonable. They're usually pretty close to some of the reference card prices compared to some of the other AIBs like Asus and MSI who seem to charge an additional premium. EVGA seems to be a better value in my opinion, just from my experience with their cards have been great as well as their price point seems to be more reasonable, but still going from $879 to $1,249 that's a $370 difference. That's over 40%, like 42% or so difference. Wow. That's a huge jump in price for us. And this just seems like it's another way for Nvidia to release us almost the same or very similar spec card as what we've had in the past, but just to slap us with a 40% price increase, it seems pretty insane. It seems pretty cruel actually at this time. And if I compare it to some of the other cards like the 3080 Ti when they first came out even too, not too long ago, they're at 1209, but even though we know now they're probably in the 14 to 15 hundred dollar range if i take a look at best buy i can see yeah rtx 3080 for the win card nevertheless which is a little bit pricier than the xc3 model that's at 1479 but we're not so far away we know that there's some improvements as far as in addition to the memory there's some memory bandwidth improvement if I look at the MSI site and if I'm scrolling for the 3080, I'm not seeing any mention of the 12 gigabyte car yet. So I'm not sure if there's going to be an MSI variant of that card or when that's going to be available to us. But when I jump over to Asus, I can see that the 12 gigabyte edition, it is listed. So this card is here, but they're not showing us any place to buy on it. They're giving some tech specs and stuff. I went ahead and I put together a little like graph or chart just to compare different cards. So this is Asus. This is comparing the 10 gigabyte RTX 3080, the original RTX 3080, the new RTX 3080 with 12 gigabytes, as well as comparing it to a RTX 3080 Ti. So we have a RTX 3080, we have a RTX 3080 with 12 gigabytes, and we have a RTX 3080 Ti. And if I scroll down, the key differences I'm going to see are the number of CUDA cores. So the standard RTX 3080 had 8,704 CUDA cores, whereas the new 12 gigabyte variant has 8,960. So that's like 256 core differences. So that's definitely an improvement, but it definitely falls short from the 10,240 that we're seeing on the RTX 3080 Ti. The price points we've seen so far though, seem like that this new RTX 3080 12 gigabyte variant is gonna be priced very, very much in the same price range as the 3080 Ti. And it's not gonna have the same core processing power. However, the memory bandwidth seems like it's parallel. So they're both gonna be 384 bit. So that's an improvement over the 10 gigabyte version, which was only 320. So for mining algorithms like Ethereum, they're very, very memory intensive, less on the core. We'll definitely see some boost in it, but we're not gonna have that additional core power that we would have with the RTX 3080 Ti. So this seems like another step forward for Nvidia to release a new card, which I'm really, really excited about, but it just seems like another way for them, I don't wanna say gouge, but gouge us. I mean, no matter what they throw out, someone's going to buy it at what price point. But to throw out a card that's inferior to a 3080 Ti in that same price range, it seems to be, 
it's very, very uh, discouraging for me. Also, now we're looking at EVGA numbers and EVGA numbers are usually close to reference card numbers or at least marginally close to it that they're not as high as some of the ones like MSI or ASUS would be. If I look at like what ASUS cards are compared to the EVGA 3080 Ti is 1479. However, the Asus 3080 Ti is 2099. There's over five, six hundred dollar price difference between those two cards. So at what price point is Asus going to be introducing this card? I'm not seeing it listed yet. I'm definitely going to be following up on it. I'll put some notes in the description once I find out where it's going to be price point. But it just seems like it's expensive card. And once again, it seems like we're paying more, but we're just not getting that additional processing power or additional memory for it. So it seems like we're paying more to get less once again. And it's pretty discouraging for me as, as a gamer or as a miner or even as a content creator. We just keep paying more no matter what price point they seem to throw these cards at. These people are going to be buying them. Where is it going to hash is going to be a big thing. We don't know because there's no benchmarks out there that we're testing yet. However, we have some historical data we can reference to try to get an indicator of where this card may hash and how well it may do it. Uh, if you follow our channel, you know we do a lot of LHR card testing. In this chart you're seeing in front of you, this is from our recent video of the T-Rex Miner version 24.8, and we have all six LHR cards. If I had to take a guess, again, this is just a guess of where this card would hash, I would put it somewhere between a 3080, the 10 gigabyte, the original version LHR, as well as the 3080 Ti. But I would probably put it a little bit closer to the 3080 LHR, and that's only because the new 12 gigabyte card only has 256 more CUDAs. So it's closer to a 3080 than it is to a 3080 Ti. However, it has the memory bandwidth of a 3080 Ti. Until we get some true benchmark and actual tests, we won't fully know. But if I had to take a guess on the number, I would probably put it at around 80, 81 mega hash range. But that's going to be heavily dependent on the driver that NVIDIA releases with this and what they do going forward. Because it's my understanding that the people who even received this card as an early release under an NDA, they weren't provided an accurate or driver to be able to use and fully test this card out yet. So until we have some accurate and true benchmarks and tests, we won't fully realize and know the value of what this card is capable of. On the bright note, this card, since it does have 12 gigabytes, it will be able to do dual coin mining of coins like Ethereum and Conflux and Ethereum and Ravencoin. So that's a plus for it. My overall take, just based on the hardware specifications alone, this just seems like a new card from NVIDIA that they're releasing just to be able to throw at us a new, this higher new price point, 40 plus percent going forward. Who knows where the ceiling really is? It just seems like NVIDIA thinks like no matter what they throw out at what price, someone's going to be coming up to buy it just because there's such a shortage and people are just in such demand to try to get these cards. If you know any more about this card, have any numbers or any reference points you can point me in the direction of, I would love to know. Please place a comment down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Happy mining!